hello hello now there's recently been quite a lot of changes in the way upgrades are able to be slotted into the ships for those that aren't aware of course the radar upgrade module has uh, switched slots and uh, defensive AA and such thing have switched slots so a lot of these things are much more accessible these days there's also been a new captain added and I might as well start with the new captain actually where's my minotaur here it is uh, when you complete the where is it oh, let me see collections here we go when you complete the Dunkirk mission whoa this, this UI you're right when you complete the Dunkirk mission you are given special captain Jack Dunkirk now the reason why I highly recommend completing this mi mission and really getting this Jack Dunkirk captain is just because um, just like Steven Siegel this captain is special uh, now what do I mean by special? Well, we can start by showing, of course, uh, Steven Siegel. This captain is special in the sense that he's got a significantly faster expert reloader, or expert loader, 75%. I've often showed this off in my bids. He's also got a faster turret traverse, three, 3 degrees per second and 1 degree per second, depending on caliber, uh, compared to the usual uh, uh, 2.5 and 0 0.7. Now, the Jack Dunkirk, Jack Dunkirk is the second special captain that has been added to the game, and he actually has three special perks. First of all, uh, Smokescreen Expert is 30% instead of 20%, uh, Jack of All Trades is 10% instead of 5%, and Turret Traverse is once again 3 and 1 instead of 2.5 and 0 0.7. Now, what does this mean? Well, of course, having Jack of All Trades, 10 and this smokescreen expert 30% means he's an excellent Minotaur captain, which is why I put him on my Minotaur. Uh, this, of course, means that uh, when you run the flags and stuff, you can get your smoke cooldown down to 137 seconds. And considering your smokescreen lasts uh, or is active for 113 with, and it lasts for 7, it means that, or active for 7 and lasts for 113, it means that you only have a 17 second downtime between smokes with the help of this captain. It also means, of course, that your heal is on a ridiculous 68 second cooldown and your repair is on a 51 second cooldown. And in general, your smoke screens are massive because you got 30% increased the size to them. Also worth noting is that uh, something which I will probably do is when the Bri uh, Royal Navy British uh, battleships uh, come out, this Jack Dunkirk is probably going to be amazing on them. 10% uh, minus 10% reload time on all mounted consumables on a battleship means much faster heal, repair, and depending on whatever consumable they get, if, if it's radar or defensive AA, whatever, uh, this is of course going to be excellent. And the faster turret traverse is once again going to be excellent on battleships, especially since uh, Royal Navy uh, battleships are pretty known for having a very slow turret traverse in this game. So get Jack, Jack Dunkirk, make sure you complete this uh, quest as soon as possible and unlock it, either because you want it for your Royal Navy cruisers or alternatively because you want it for your Royal Navy battleships later on. So absolutely get Jack, uh, Jack Dunkirk. Now, moving on, new, new slots. Well, some haven't changed much. For example, Henry. I still slot exactly the same things, still use speed boost here, but as you can see there has been a change, you can slot defensive and hydro here. Now why is this a big deal? Well for example on the Minotaur, you can now slot the hydro acoustic surge without any issues. Uh, and that of course means that you get 120 second hydro, which means once, it, once you have 127, uh, 120 second smoke, you can be perfectly because running hydro the entire time that you smoke if you want to. It also, of course, means that on ship like, ships like the Grosse Kurforst, you could easily give up. Uh, no, actually, you can't slot it here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> but on, for example, the Hindenburg, if you run uh, uh, full AA build, you can slot defensive AA if you want, or if you run hydro build, you can slot the hydro uh, additional duration consumable. Personally, I don't run either because I run the tank build, so I don't think either one of these is worth slotting on the Hindenburg, but it is an option. On the Z52, however, speed boost. I've actually really liked speed boost on my uh, Z52. I think it's more valuable than the Hydro because usually the issue is not 
if your hydra is available or not the issue is if your smoke is available so i don't really see the value here i mean it would be it would be a decent slot but ultimately i prefer having the speed boost because i think it's more valuable on the z52 on the moskva however this means that you can now slot surveillance radar in this slot uh, which means of course that you can increase the duration of your radar to a rid ridiculous 35 seconds instead of the usual 25 or 30 so what this means is uh, you almost have Des Moines duration radar except on a 12 km range so the Moskva gains a significant buff being able to slot this ability on the Grozovoy I actually just run the propulsion mod. Um, I, you could run the defensive AA, but ultimately uh, I didn't think it was worth it because uh, it's only active for 30 seconds. So slotting the module would increase it to 36 seconds since it gives 20%. And ultimately six seconds of additional defensive AA compared to not losing engine, which is what keeps you alive a lot of the time. Um, I didn't think it was worth the trade-off, especially since uh, once again, this is very situational, whereas engine is always useful because every time you get shot at, this this uh, module will be or this upgrade will be useful. So in this case, I just stuck with the good old uh, propulsion mod combo, speed boost, of course. Uh, nothing else has changed here. Still the same build. Otherwise, midway would there even be anything worth slotting no on a carrier you don't really i don't really recommend running in the defensive aa i mean you do increase the duration significantly i mean you gain 24 seconds of defensive aa woohoo but the problem is that uh, this two minutes uh, is more than enough to repel one attack and usually uh, any decent carrier if he tries to really snipe you in high tier which is very uncommon to begin with because of defensive AA but let's let's say someone actually tries to snipe you you pop defensive AA and you defend against it and then he just waits it out before he attacks you again because this one has a very long cooldown and increasing this duration doesn't really do much because he'll just wait it out anyway and then you still have to wait for that long defensive cooldown so I don't really see the value in using it on a carrier Montana Nothing much has changed here, still prefer running tankiness. Des Moines, on the other hand, I do run defensive AA duration. Now the reason for this is uh, Des Moines doesn't really gain too much value out of any of these perks. And uh, the radar duration is, in my opinion, pointless. Yes, we can we could increase, increase the radar duration um, to at 40% it increases it, so we can increase it to almost a minute, 56 seconds. The problem is the radar range is only 9.9 .9 km, well only and only, it's still a great range. Uh, but the issue is usually with the Des Moines radar is if you do pop it uh, within 40 seconds, the target is either dead, if it's something like a Minotaur or whatever, or if it's a DD, he'll outrun, he'll run away from you, he'll run away from your radar range before the radar runs out. It's extremely uncommon that I ever get to use the full duration of a radar, because most of the time when I pop this, um, they will usually get behind the island cover, or they will run away, or whatever. So, I don't really see the point in increasing the duration of the surveillance radar. However, increasing the defensive AA, from the default 40 seconds to 48 seconds just means that you have this absolute kill zone around you for eight seconds for longer and for those that aren't aware when you pop defensive AA onto the Moines you absolutely slaughter all planes and since you already got a range of 7.2 popping this defensive AA with this module means that well nothing can come near your fleet in your area for for 48 seconds uh, and I find this highly, highly valuable. And th having this additional duration mean that you can pretty much, you can just deny so much uh, carrier impact. And uh, once again, I, but ultimately, I don't think this is that big of an impact either. That like, don't, don't make it, I, I, I'm trying, I don't think that I'm trying to make it sound um, overly good because ultimately neither this or the radar is that good on the Des Moines because once again it already has great durations on both consumables and most of the time um, anything within radar will run away and anything within defensive AA will probably die if it stays around for the full duration. Regardless though, I found this one to be the most valuable um, module to slot. Gearing, 
not much has changed. Just like on the Grosovoi, I consider the engine to be more important than the slight increase in defensive AA. Uh, Hakuryu couldn't change anything. Yamato has, haven't changed anything. Zao, nope, you still need the steering gears. Uh, for those that aren't aware, IG and cruisers have a very, very weak rudder. The rudder brakes see very often. The Zao, on the Zao it isn't as bad, but for those that have played a lot of IG and cruisers knows that this is, know that this is a real issue. In fact, on the Atago, in competitive, people run less time simply because of this rudder issue. So, yeah, this is something I'm gonna be sticking with in this case. Shimakaze, speed boost, still the best. Best in slot, in my opinion. Donskoy, well, if you don't have Moskva, you could of course slot the radar, but since I have the Moskva, my module has gone to that. Tashkent would be speed boost, Misor, you can't even slot it. Baltimore, well, if you don't have Des Moines, here's some options of running radar or defensive AA, potentially. I mean, uh, I guess you could run defensive AA on the Des because this one doesn't slot your planes quite as quickly as the Des Moines, and uh, being able to increase the duration could probably be quite strong. Fletcher, mm, nah, engine, I, or DDs, I prefer engine. Loyang, however, increase hydro. This is very, very strong on the Loyang. Uh, this increases the hydro duration to 108 seconds, which is, of course, very good considering you got uh, 100 and, is it 150 seconds almost of smoke, considering how long it's active and how long the duration is so you got more than 150 seconds of smoke so increasing the hydro duration for almost your entire smoke is of course very very valuable so this one i absolutely do slot um let's see if there's any other ships Eugen, if you of course run hydro on um running the hydro module is quite valuable and uh, what else kutuzov not really worth changing as far as that no not really worth changing Nah, you don't, once again, not really worth it. Uh, is there any ship, other ship that I could consider it to be significant on? Akisuki, not really. I mean, on Akisuki, I would probably run the speed module if I had an additional one, simply because the speed is, an real, is a real issue on the Akisuki. Bluska, I probably run speed. Yeah, I run speed, absolutely. Belfast, I run hydro. This is uh, worth noting. This is actually a small buff to the Belfast, being able to slot this Hydra. And, uh, well, since you can't really select anything besides it, and uh, Hydra is much more valuable than any of these are on the Belfast, being able to increase this duration is another small buff to the Belfast, which is, of course, something the Belfast didn't really need. Can you even slot? No, I was about to check if you could slot the defensive AA on the hood, since it does have one, but no, you cannot. Leningrad. I guess I would run speed boost, but I I think I moved my speed boost to another captain for for right now. Indianapolis. Oh, I think you can. Can you run radar on the Indianapolis? Considering they have buffed the range on the radar, um, being able to buff the duration would be very strong. Wait, is is there any limits on on uh, like tier or something? Man, this makes me wish I would have bought more of those radar um, radar mods back when they were on sale okay you can only put it on tier 9 okay so you can't put it on the Indianapolis never mind only tier 9 then tier 9 and tier 10 yeah but uh, once again I hope all of you guys kept this I did tell everyone when these came out that don't sell them keep keep them because they will probably be buffed so make sure you don't sell them but keep them so I hope you guys haven't been selling these things because uh, now that they have been buffed and you can put them in multiple different modules and now that they've nerfed the drop chance of them in super containers the guys that saved their consumables like i did are, are obviously going to be very happy duke could also can slot both hydro and defensive aa that's actually pretty interesting uh i have unslotted why have i unslotted this one wonder what I've been doing. I've probably been testing some... No, never mind, because the slot has changed. Hydra would probably be pretty strong. Yeah, Hydra would be very strong, actually, on the Duca. Uh, you, you could easily be able to slot Hydra on the Duca. Very valuable. Uh, let's see, any other... Oh, well, we start going so low tier at this point that I don't really care too much anymore. On the Perf, though, let's see, Perf. Yeah, and the Perth Hydra would be really good, considering you run around in a smoke blob the entire time. 
and the smoke does last significantly longer than this, yeah, it would actually be very useful. And if I and spotting plane is also really useful. Actually, this is one of those ships where I would run spotting plane because you use spotting plane for personal you use spotting plane for personal spotting. That means uh, when you move around in the smoke, this increases by 30%, which means now you have a 234 second duration on the spotting plane. And the idea, of course, for those that aren't aware, is that yeah, you got also the smoke duration, smoke generator, and hydro. Uh, I don't want to waste the hydro on this guy, but I would ideally run the hydro on this guy as well for additional hydro duration. Perf gains the most benefits out of these changes because you can slot all three of these upgrades. And uh, for those that don't understand how the perf plays, you smoke yourself, and then you use, and then you use uh, the spotter plane to spot because it patrols right above you so you can see the enemy and they can see you and this makes you an excellent solo flanker because you don't need anyone else to spot for you and then of course you run hydro on top so you can't get torped in that smoke and you can't be get ambushed by any DDs or anything so the perf gains probably the most from being able to do this because he can slot all three, three of these consumables which is pretty amazing anyway that was just my small update regarding uh, these ships and the new upgrades you can slot and how i have been using them uh, i hope you guys really didn't sell them as once again um it wasn't in my opinion it was never worth the small monetary gain you got from them uh, considering you needed to get them from a super container unless you got them from rewards so yeah if you sold them well <laughs> well shit happens uh Maybe Wargaming will give us another chance to get more of these modules. Uh, we'll have to see about that in the future. Anyway, that was all from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the small impromptu PSA, aka public service announcement. I'll talk to you guys later.